Should we sally forth and continue to find out what happened? <sighs> you gotta go to the idea being asking you something. What did I just want? An actual environment. <laughs> This is about 365 degree evaluation. <laughs> yes. So, anyway, Which, sorry, if we did that evaluation, we probably wouldn't end up here either. Really dizzy. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, always. So, actually, there's two reasons for 365 degree evaluation. Oh, there is. Two reasons. Those are? Number one, 360 degrees. You're going all around. Yes. Number two, 365, because you're going to do it all the time. Ah, you don't to do this. that makes sense. So, you can't do it once and call it good. You can. I wouldn't say that's the best practice. Either. I've had surveys where they say everything's perfect and we just haven't done one since. You did it once seven yeah. years ago? Yeah, we win. Yeah, we won. So, right, so why why change it? You got all the points. You got all the reinforcements. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Life is good. Yeah. All right. So what is 360 degree evaluation? Well, we call it 365 here at Sitecore just because. Because why not? Why not? And when you make an error, sometimes you just got to own the error. and An error like point. being in the Potomac for a shot. Yeah. Yes. I have no idea what's in this river that didn't, you know. It smells wonderful. Oh, it's amazing. It's great. Yeah. Um, which, it's all over my feet. It's splashing all over. I just pull up my pants even. Yeah, well, you know. I have to warm up more. They're getting really wet. Look at yeah. That. Check it out. There you go. Evaluation. Anyway. Eva <laughs> it's really simple. You're just going to evaluate every little thing that you can evaluate that has value for evaluating. Mm. So... <laughs> Has value. I, I know, evaluating. I know, but just the phrase has, not has value for sense. evaluating. That's we're not going to measure how long you take in the bathrooms because it's not relevant for us. Unless you're Amazon. That's what I was just to Jeff Bezos. So I, I, I know. I, I, I'm following. You caught it? No, no I'm don't following. Fall in the river. Huh? Don't fall in the river. You first. I, I'm already in. I know. So whatever. So you're looking at everything. Yeah. Stakeholders. So mm -hmm. who are some of the who are some of the org teams and groups that you would evaluate as part of a uh, a practice of offering ABA services? Oh, everybody. <laughs> that's the five that's the five, that's the five degree part no so the specifics would be groups like uh essentially every position title right so i have my uh behavior technicians so our bts our lead bts our labas our bcbas our right. billing managers or so on and so forth right and then keep going yeah all the way up to hopefully me which supervisory and then yeah even a, you know all the way to the top yeah CEOs. we're working on it forward and then the other one that i will think people forget about in our line of work is the one that we both haven't mentioned yet who clients ah so we're used to getting data on the clients right so everybody collects all this wonderful uh -huh. data constantly on the so you better be analyzing it how well are you doing as an organization is the whole thing are you are you are you meeting your goals in terms of goal attainment like, I mean, uh -huh. like did you set 15 goals for the kids and you're doing that on average what is the results you know we're going to analyze all that you might want to talk about even some oh my gosh <gasps> Maybe some indirect sort of assessments with Ooh. things like families. What? How are services? Are they going okay for you? Are you noticing an improvement? Not data, data. So not, we want to know what they want. I don't want to know. That what makes they want. sense as part of that evaluation. Three hundred and sixty-five degrees. Yeah. All of it. We're that makes sense. Yeah. Right? So everybody. So with with regard to three hundred sixty degree evaluation, it really is all sorts of stuff. You're looking at direct assessment, indirect assessments. You're looking at um, performance evaluations. Yep. Uh, you're looking at evaluations of supervisory roles. So, what are your what what do, what do the BTS think of their supervisors? What do the supervisors think of you? Yeah. What does the COS think of the CEO? What does the CEO think of all of it? How are they doing? What do they think of the board? What does the board think of the performance of the organization? And if you've developed all your key performance indicators right, you're evaluating the organization as a result of that too by looking at your three, your, your KPI. So the 360s has 360s constantly. It isn't a one and done. We already kind of mentioned that with the 365 yes. stuff, but. Annually? Do you keep going? How often? What do, we, what do I think? We're looking at... Uh, we've done both. We've gone to the point of annoying people. Yeah. So they stop responding. So that's not fair. No. That's not yeah, okay. that doesn't work at all. Um, but trying to do it at, at a minimum twice a year. Yep. Yeah, to get kind of an idea of what... The temperature, if you will, of what's going on. Corporate climate. Yeah. No. No. What is the corporate climate no. of your business? Yeah. <laughs> So evaluating the corporate, this is part of evaluating the corporate climate, is looking at all of those different pieces and then kind of putting that package together as a narrative. What's the result? What does what everything say? And how well yep. does it all fit together? And then being honest about those evaluations. And you mentioned something interesting um, about uh, you know people getting annoyed. One of the problems that you're going to have right off the bat if you're doing survey type work is response rates. Yes. You're not going to get responses. <laughs> Everyone needs to fill it out. Yes, everyone. And you'll send an email to that effect. Yeah. Please fill it. And then you'll send an email again. Please really fill this out. We really need your participation. And you'll have to do it again and again and again. And you might get 25%. I mean, that's a good number. That's fair. 
It, it, uh, it kills me. Yeah, ah. on the inside. Yeah, it kind of hurts. Dying, but like, I care about what you think. Why won't you tell me? People speak up if they have something to say. Yes. It's going to work in your favor and work against you. You need to understand that that's going to be the case, which means you might want to incentivize completing the surveys. Oh. So I guess the biggest, that just kind of moves on to the biggest piece is what do you do with that information? Oh, you just throw it in a drawer and let it sit. <laughs> let it marinate for a yeah, bit. Let it marinate. No, it's fine. Ideally, it depends on what you're collecting, but if you notice problems, you should be evaluating your systems to look at, is there anything we can do within the existing system um, to address this particular problem? Do yeah. we need to add a new process? Do we need to move a new process? Do we need to go ask those people how we, what we get, can change to improve the process? The people that were complaining about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. they might have a solution. They for might. It's a great way to run a business is to work with the people it's, that actually do the jobs. It's really weird to have that perspective. Unbelievable yeah. To check with the people. I mean, they're experts on the clients. Shouldn't they be the expert on their position? That came out loud. Is that one of those thoughts you're supposed to keep to yourself? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, so analyzing the data, providing feedback to the people that provided you the data, letting them know that they were heard, letting them know that like going over the data with those people is really important. You don't just let it disappear into a black hole. No. They put that effort out to let you know what was going on. You better put the effort out. Summarize it and share what you found. Thank you. And go, hey, I'm going to take care of the following. Thanks for telling me that your building's on fire. I'm really good. <laughs> Oh There's some really cool things that you can do. That is really cool. With regard to um, like constant performance feedback of yes. the organization itself. Say, okay, how many goals did we we set a goal of making of teaching our kids 37 goals this month? How many of them did we make? Yep. You know, so you can show that you can put it on charts, you can put it on the wall. So that's constant evaluation of your organization, uh, and hopefully it becomes reinforcing if people are doing it right. Well, it needs I mean, to be common practice for your organization. It should be. It, it needs to be. Is that it? Do you have anything else to add? I don't think so. Do you? Let's get you a towel.